This is an introduction to body scan meditation, um, really for the purpose of embodied facilitation. So for EFC students and other people who want to set that up, um, you know, this is an old school meditation, particularly from Burma, you'll find it. There's an older video I made of me doing a systematic body scan and that can go top down or bottom up where you take body parts one at a time. Um, some people find that helpful, it's a very kind of earthy way to do things. I'm going to show you the other way to do it in this video, which um, I think particularly for more beginners, I, I'm preferring, I'm influenced by Shin Zen Young in this way. Um, the other EFC videos on meditation, I say a little bit about posture and having the hips higher than the knee and the feet flat on the floor. So the same basic things apply, um, you know, in terms of uh, posture. Another thing I'll say is in terms of like, you know, finding a regular time and place. You don't have to be in a chair, you can be on the floor, as long as you have a comfortable yet yeah, upright position. And again, I'm not attached if the eyes are open and looking down or closed, hands up, hands down. It's, it's different ways. Um, certain schools will say you have to do it this way, but other schools will tell you the exact opposite. So um, key thing is you find something that works for you. And in this uh, embodied meditation, the key thing is we're not just being aware of the body as an object, you're being aware as the body. So it's a sense of coming close to the body. It's kind of a little bit hard to explain or really um, letting this, the experience soak in. Is it all, these are all metaphors and not very operational, but uh, the feeling here is um, how intimate can you get with your body? For me, often now, there's just the coming home to the body. And one way to do this body scan meditation is actually just the whole body at once. It's feeling the whole body. And if you're a more advanced practitioner, this more simple method of noticing the whole body without trying to change it, coming back to the body. And naturally, the other senses will pull you. So you'll start hearing or you'll start noticing things in your visual field, whether the eyes are open or closed. Yeah, or you'll start having pictures or words in your mind. Often, it, for me, it's planning. Sometimes it's like fantasy, sometimes memory. Normally planning is pretty common. When I notice that, I notice it and come back to the, either the, in the first instance, we'll say the global sense of the body. Being with the body, gently being with the whole sensations of the body. Not trying to do anything to the body here, it's really coming back to our experience. Is there a way we can penetrate that experience or if you prefer to soak it up like a sponge? Three basic skills here. So we have attention, keeping bringing the body back, even if it's a thousand times. We have sensory clarity, so noticing more. This is where the body scanning systematically can be helpful because we, we pay attention to parts we don't normally pay attention to. Or in the case of just going with whatever's jumping out at you, like I don't know, my left leg, for example, is calling attention right now. I'm tuning in and I'm bringing more concentration to that part and I'll notice more. I'll notice a greater level of detail. It's like increasing the, the resolution and equanimity, the third set of skills. So there's always this sense of letting go physically, not pulling or pushing on the experience, turning towards, not away from, or grabbing. So I like to use this noting and labeling. So noting is where we bring attention to what's calling our attention and, and deepen that attention a little bit. And then the note of the labeling we may is optional. You can add a label and that label may just be body, body. And this, this keeps us present, stops us drifting off into fantasy, into story, into planning. Or you can do body parts, back, knee, foot. And a little bit more advanced, you could actually do sensations. So it'd be tight, glowing, spreading, opening, the body is verb. Hmm. And you can actually do this out loud, particularly if you're distracted, that can be very helpful. Body. 
often I'll note twice. I'll note label and then note the same area again. I mean, if five jump into mind at once, don't worry, you can just pick one. It doesn't matter if you're late or if you miss one, it's okay. The point here is to use the noting and, as an anchor. Most of your attention should be on the noting, the bringing awareness to an increased awareness to an area rather than the, the labeling. So don't get too caught in the cognitive of the labeling. <sighs> Body. 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 Back. Fingers. Left foot, jaw, brow, buttocks, tingling, glowing, gripping, expanding, contracting. Body, body. If like me, you get distracted fairly easily, then using those noting and labeling out loud can be quite helpful. You're not wasting your time, bringing it back, spending more and more time with the experience and deepening the clarity, concentration, equanimity. You may notice after doing this for a while, the resolution really gets turned up and you can feel much, much more. If you feel like it's easier or you're missing areas, you can return to that systematic, so a minute on the feet, a minute on the lower legs, a minute on the thighs. It doesn't have to be exactly a minute, but you know, spending some time on each area. You can focus on ease or pleasure. If it feels like you're having a tough day and that might be helpful. Might be the jaw letting go. The subtle sensation of not standing is nice. The out breath. No, the cool on my skin now is pleasant. You may notice if you've been doing a lot of dance, yoga, uh, deep meditation, or any kind of state practice that the body may start to feel tingly. It may start to almost dissolve, have a sense of like, um, uh, it's a metaphor, but multicolored static. <laughs> Vibratory, champagne-y kind of feel. Don't worry if it doesn't, but that feeling over the whole body, you know, like um, if you've jumped in cold water after a hot sauna, if you have that feeling, you can enjoy it. Or just the feeling of ease. Or just coming back to whatever's there. It might be a pain in the back, a pain in the knee. Aches and pains are pretty helpful for keeping you present and bringing awareness to them will often reduce the suffering. So pain plus resistance equals suffering, so we're reducing the resistance, the pushing and pulling. If you're pushing, if it's pain. If you're sleepy, sitting upright, a little bit more opening your eyes. If you find yourself getting anxious or uptight, like tuning the guitar string, you can loosen it a little bit as well.
For me, this is very pleasant and I could sit with my body for a long time. And I'm going to wrap up this little guided meditation. Noticing your state, being aware that it may have shifted to a more pleasant state, concentrated, pleasant. Emotions may have shifted, been digested. Um, and if it hasn't, that's okay too. It's the practice that's important, not the outcome. Letting go of that immediate short-term outcome, because you're, you're building those long-term muscles. Um, as an embodiment trainer or coach, this is really self-awareness is the base skill of all the others. So this practice of global, systematic, or this jumping around, it's still developing concentration in the latter case, because you're concentrating in little bits on each place. Um, super, super helpful. Finishing your practice, noticing state, maybe some gratitude for yourself for making time and some intention to bring that for the rest of your day and the rest of your facilitation.